when should rent be paid? Most commercial leases require rent to be paid monthly in advance on the anniversary of the commencement date. Most leases allow for interest to be charged by the lessor if rent falls more than 14 days behind. Fitzpatrick's Commercial will email a monthly tenant invoice which states the rent period, amount due and date due. Are there penalties for overdue late rent? If the lease agreement allows, interest may be charged on overdue monies. This will be clearly stated on your lease agreement. Will the rent increase over the period of the lease? It depends what is negotiated and what is in the lease. Most leases have either fixed rate or CPI increases each year and market reviews are common upon exercising an option for a further lease period. We are happy to explain these processes to you at any stage. What is the difference between a holding deposit and a security deposit? A holding deposit is used to hold the premises for a prospective tenant until a lease agreement is signed. Should the lease not proceed, the lessor may use these funds to cover costs incurred, e.g. legal fees. Once the lease agreement has been signed, the holding deposit is allocated towards the rent. A security deposit is money paid by the lessee to the lessor and usually held in a trust account or the small business commissioner if a retail lease. It can be allocated towards rent arrears or damage to the premises if the lessee fails to honour their obligations under the lease. A security deposit is generally a cash payment but can also be made in the form of a bank guarantee supplied by the lessee's bank. What other fees are involved in leasing a commercial property? In a commercial lease situation, the lessee is generally required to pay the lease preparation costs and costs associated with searches, for example credit or company checks. In a retail lease situation, the lessee is not able to be charged a lease preparation fee. Generally, the lessee is also required to pay their own utility services including electricity, gas, phone, internet, cleaning, waste disposal, lawn and garden maintenance and property maintenance. For example, air conditioner servicing and fire equipment servicing. 